Mission-based serial killers, those who believe they are acting on behalf of some higher power, most commonly target prostitutes. James Clifford Carson, aka Michael Bear Carson, and Susan Barnes Carson, aka Susan Carson, targeted people they believed to be witches, claiming three and possibly as many as 12 victims. And yet, this deadly duo makes the most unlikely of serial killer couples. Up until 1980, James Carson, a man with a master's degree in Chinese studies, was married and living in Phoenix, Arizona with his wife and four-year-old child. Susan Barnes was a recently divorced mother of two teenage sons in nearby Scottsdale. At around this time, James Carson's wife left him and fled to California with their daughter, citing his irrational behaviour whilst James remained in Phoenix. Not long after, he met Susan Barnes and the two became involved in a relationship. Before long, they'd married, even though James was still legally married to his first wife. Then they moved to Garberville, California, where they found work on a marijuana farm. During this time, they began experimenting with hallucinogenic drugs and after one of their trips, Susan declared that she'd had a vision that they should adopt the Muslim faith and change their names to Suzanne with a Z and Michael Bear. James readily agreed and although there is no evidence that they officially converted to Islam, they insisted on being called by their new names, became vegetarians and began practicing yoga. They also became convinced that their friends and acquaintances were witches bent on the destruction of the world. In early 1981, the couple moved to San Francisco. They committed their first murder in Haight-Ashbury in March of that year. The victim was their 22-year-old roommate, Karen Barnes, who was bludgeoned with a frying pan before being stabbed 13 times. Thereafter, the Carsons wrapped her body in a blanket and hid it in the basement before fleeing. Over the next two years, they remained at large, wandering the American Southwest and even, according to their later confession, travelling to Europe. They survived by selling drugs and became more and more involved in their delusions. They also committed at least two more murders. Clark Stevens was killed near Alder Point in Humdolt County, California in 1982. He was shot and his body burnt before being buried under a mount of chicken fertilizer. Carson later claimed they'd killed Stevens, who had worked with them on the marijuana farm because he'd sexually assaulted Susan. John Charles Hillier, 30, was murdered in January 1983 outside Santa Rosa, California. According to Carson, they met Hillier while he was hitchhiking and killed him on the side of a road in Sonoma County, California after he called Susan a witch. After their arrest in 1983, the Carsons called a press conference at which they confessed to the murders. During this interview, James Carson explained why the couple had murdered Karen Barnes, claiming she'd falsely converted to Islam and had then been draining Susan of her health and yogic powers. James and Susan Carson went on trial in June 1984. Despite their earlier confession, they entered not guilty pleas to the murder of Karen Barnes. On 12th of June 1984, they were found guilty and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Convictions in the Stevens and Hillier murders added a further 50 years to each of their sentences. James Carson is currently serving his time at Mule Creek State Prison. Susan Carson is incarcerated at Central California Women's Facility. They are suspects in nearly a dozen other murders in the US and Europe.